Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to try to keep this quick, straight to the point, short, sweet, so that I don't have to do too much editing. My name is Jahanir Perez. I am officially a stay-at-home mom. So excited. I'm also a serial mompreneur. <sighs> Very excited to say that. And in today's video, we are going to be reviewing Rachel Ray Premium Dry food specifically for yorky poos if you have a yorky poo stick around because you're gonna like this before we get into the video this video is brought to you by cam smith tray photography y'all that was a tongue twister i had to say it three times and i edited out with cam smith tray photography you are getting boudoir shoots baby shoots newborn shoots maternity shoots events at the moment he is working on videography if you guys need to get a video done for either a proposal or a wedding or an excitement that you have coming up definitely make sure that you guys reach out to him i am going to drop his information linked in the description and let him know that your girl yaya sent you you know for a little doozy but we're working on getting things on and popping on this side now back to our video with rachel ray i listen I am in the kitchen. I am in the kitchen. Y'all know Rachel Ray is our dog when it comes to pots and pans, but tapping into the dog food industry, I am super excited for this. Mainly because I get to actively test it, see how it works, and when I tell you that it's been working, so excited. So let me give you a little bit of a background about Misa. This is Misa. So cute, so adorable. With Cam Smith Trey, we do dog shoots for Christmas. This was a beautiful Christmas shoot that we did. I'm so excited for it because I get to use it as a presentation to show you how sweet and loving she can be. But don't let that fool you. If you have a Yorkie poo, y'all know Yorkie poos are very picky. Yorkie poos are very loud and Yorkie poos do not stay still. So I have a little bit of a resentment towards my coworker that he doesn't know about and I don't know if he will ever see this video because I bought her from him. And when I tell y'all that he did not prepare me for what was to come, <sighs> we're in a much better space now. Misa is turning five years old in December. I received her in July of 2021 when she was one and a half, I'd say, and it's been up and down ever since when it comes to dog food. If you have the budget for it, by all means, Farmer's Dog, highly recommend. She did great with it, but any other store brand dog food or if we go to a Petco and get a dog food that's recommended for your kids, my dog would eat it for a week and then that is it. Y'all, I've had my dog back for maybe about a month or two and the feedback that I've gotten from her with this brand right here has been amazing. My dog is very picky. I still do keep her fruits in her diet, her eggs in her diet. Sometimes she would eat oatmeal, but keeping her on a kibble so that we don't have those soft poop has definitely been amazing. When it comes to her performance, when it comes to her activity levels, it's been ranged and I do take her out for more walks now so that helps her release a lot of that inner hypeness that she has that is super excited but i definitely wanted to bring this to the table so what we have here is an 11.5 pound bag that i got on amazon and i first tried out the soft food so this is the soft food that we tried <laughs> She liked it for a day or two, and then that was it. She was not a fan of anything else. I decided to give the kibbles a try, and the beef and brown rice flavor is the one that she liked, which I'm not complaining. The bag was 11.5 ounces, and it cost me $30, which was not bad. It's a really big bag. Now, those are all my pros. I'm giving you my honest opinion. This is not a paid review. My con with these bags, and I hope this is something that they'll look forward to fixing, is that it doesn't have a reseal to keep the freshness type of zip, ziplock-ish thing going on, so I can't reseal it. Right now, I have the bag tied up in my kitchen, and I wrapped it with tape to try to keep it as fresh as possible. If you know your Yorkie Poo, your Yorkie Poo would not eat uh, kibbles that are one to two days old, much less if they're stale. So I do know that you can add water to give it a little bit of life. And there's also flavoring that you can add to the kibbles, which in the future we will then add once I get her to a reasonable weight. But for now, this has been working. 
that is my only con she will eat her kibbles with no issues i am not having any dietary problems either she is pooping just fine peeing just fine her coat looks nice and healthy her teeth look great and misa is up and running and all over the place so happy happy dog happy mom <laughs> So to all of my uh, dog moms and dads, yeah, if you have a Yorkie poo, I highly recommend this brand. Definitely give it a try. Let me know what else works for you. And let me know if you're going to go ahead and give this a try after you see this video so that I can add that to my arsenal and say that I was right. We know that all dogs are different. So what works for my dog might not work for yours. And if you have the option to try a smaller bag, I highly recommend it. I did not know that the bag was going to be that big. <laughs> it is huge. And you guys know most things we cannot return on Amazon. So yeah, if you can get like a five pound bag, definitely try it out. If you want to go full on and take my word for it, by all means, viewer's discretion is advised. <laughs> and that is it. Uh, short and sweet. You guys go ahead and check me out. I dropped some additional resourceful links in the description. And I'll see you in the next one. The intro part is the part that I always mess up on. So I might add this towards the end. The video. This video is sponsored by Cam Smith Trey. For, blah. This video is brought to you by Cam Smith Trey Photography. This video is brought to you by Cam Smith Trey Photography. Y'all, that was a tongue twister. I had to say it three times and I edited it out with Cam Smith.